Social Media. I'm Abby Palm, and today I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to play swing bowling. Now, you've seen so many bowlers swing the ball. People like James Anderson, where he swings the ball pretty late, and people like Mitchell Stark, Jasper Boomra, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar Swing King. They all swing the balls. They can reverse swing or swing the ball in pretty really late. So how we can do that as a batter? You want to always have a clear mind. You don't want to anticipate. You don't want to be like scared, like, oh my God, this ball is swinging. Um, what should I do? Should I drive the ball? Should I hit the ball? And then you play some wrong stroke and you get up. You don't want to do that. You want to have a clear mind. Okay, I know the ball is swinging. We'll wait till the last second and just tap defense, defend it. If it's a good ball and it's in your slot, might want to take it on until the pace, the extra pace and swing and yeah you want to have a clear mind now you don't also want to anticipate so much like they bowl the bowler they can give you it can give you off if they're holding like this out swinger in swinger they can they can give that off because of their how they hold the leather ball but you can you can like you can play your shots depending on how they hold the ball okay it's out it's in swinger it's going to swing back to me i'm going to i'm going to probably give myself a little space and probably just tuck it to the cover region you can do that too you always have, have to have a clear mind now swing ball you want to watch the ball to the last minute if you don't then you're off like okay the ball is, you can think oh yeah the ball's here i'm gonna play the i'm gonna play the street drive but it turns out it's gonna swing away gets to the outside edge caught by the wicket keeper. Many people get confused by that. They come, they want us to do a straight drive, make thinking the ball is straight. They anticipated too early, but turned out the ball is swinging, caught the outside edge, and you're nicked off and you're caught. So you want to have that. So how you can play it also is having a great stance. You might want to move a little to the leg side. You might want to come a little to the middle stump-ish because if, if it's in swinging, sorry, if it's in swinging, it'll swing back in, in back into you. So pitch, swing back to you, you're on the middle stroke, you can drive it. You can drive, you can straight drive it. So you can do that. Or you can also just move your leg side ball. Just like tuck it away on the leg side, probably hit it for four or six. If it's swinging back in too much, like the bowlers also want it to swing in a lot. If it's swinging a lot, probably go to your leg side, in swinger, it misses the um, off stump, I mean middle stump and it wants to hit the leg stump, probably move a little and then just give her space, just hit it. And when playing this swing bowling, you always want to have to make sure you have your off stump off, you, know, you want to know where your off stump is. You might, you want to, you might want to leave the ball, but turns out, swings back in and hits your off stump. Many people like Matthew Wade, Stephen Smith, they've all, they've, I've seen some videos, they've both left their ball thinking, okay, the ball won't swing, it'll just go to the wicket keeper, but left it, but turns out the ball swung and hit the off stump. So you always want to know where your off stump is. So when you're batting, off stump is there. Okay, I know, I don't want to leave the ball in case if it's swinging in too much, then I want to drive the ball. You want to always have to make sure you know that off stump. You know where it is. You don't want to not know where it is. Like, leave it. You can get. You can hit the off stump. So you can swing back and nick back in. And out swinger too. You don't want to. You don't want to play it like a false shot. You don't. You don't want. You. You want to have a clear mind. Okay. Probably going to go out swinger because the way he's holding it. I'm going to play a full front defense. You don't want to be like. Should I play? Should I play the drive? Should I defend it and then get nipped off, like how Joe Burns did? So yeah, you always want to make sure you have the clear mind, and you don't want to get nipped off by swing bowling. Swing bowling, they're looking for you two things: one, back uh, gap between bat and pad. If you do that, you probably can swing back in and hit the stumps. And looking for that outside or inside edge. They're always looking for the out swingers. They're meant to do that. They're like trying to get your outside eye edge and caught by the keeper or one of the slits. So you want to have that nice stance 
You want to have your head in line with the ball? Just play it normally. Just play it like it's normal goalie. You don't want to think, oh my god, I'm swing bowling on here. I can't do this. I, I can't. I'm gonna... You don't want to take on the pressure. You want to have a nice thing. And who said you can't hit swing bowling for sixes? James Anderson. You can hit him for six. All you have to do is nice, have a nice calm mind. It's in your slot. The ball swung, but it came into your slot. You can take it on. I mean, like you want to have a clear mind. You want to have that confidence in you. You always want to have that confidence. So, people like James Anderson, they swing the ball in late. So you always want to be careful like that. Careful. Like that. You want to. You want to be careful for those out swingers and in swingers and everything. And you want to have nice balanced steps, a nice balanced mind. I want to, I'm, let's say I want to play this great drive because the ball is swinging back into me. Just nice straight drive, have a clear mind. You want, to, you want to put that pressure onto the bowler. If you move your stance, like let's say you want to go back to the leg stop, it's kind of pressuring the bowler. Okay, I might have to change up my line and legs. Or if you come out a little from the crease line, then that also kind of messes them up and you can play your normal regular shots so those are some tips on how to play swing bowling please like share and subscribe to SM Multimedia. comment down what we can do below uh, comment down below what we can do better and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day